This was a little boy that you're about to meet. His parents originally thought he had a behavioral issue. Part of his brain was misfiring and making him giggle at inopportune times. But after visits with neurosurgeons and some testing, testing you're about to see, they found out he was really having seizures and medication just wasn't working. It's not your typical seizure. <laughs> All his life, Keegan Dysart had seizures that looked like he was laughing, but there was nothing funny about it. Honestly, it sounded like a, a kind of a, almost, I want to say, a maniacal giggle. The seizures happened two to three times an hour. Sometimes he'd even stiffen up and pass out. Keegan? He's having a seizure. Yes. It even Keegan? happened at night, and it made a little boy's life very difficult. But I had, um trouble behaving and this is Keegan today where the buses stop and pick up people a boy who loves buses and their routes has now mapped out his own new territory he's one of the first people in the world to undergo a new laser procedure it was present in his brain when he was born the source of Keegan's seizures, a lesion deep in his brain. The most common surgery, doctors removing a chunk of the skull to get the lesion and destroy it. It was dangerous. It could cause paralysis or blindness. This is the actual size of the probe that we place in the brain. But Texas Children's doctors tried a new procedure on Keegan. They cut a tiny hole in the skull the size of the tip of a pen. They inserted a laser probe and used MRI imaging to find the lesion. Then they used the laser to destroy it. Keegan hasn't had a seizure since. Mommy and Daddy have a new child. <laughs> <laughs> He's noticing things that he'd never noticed before, like he'll notice a sunset. <laughs> and there was something else. <laughs> that noise he made during seizures was the only laugh they'd ever heard from their son until after the surgery. First time we'd ever heard him laugh. <sighs> Pretty incredible. Keegan's doctors now think the story of success will change the way countless seizure victims are treated around the world. Very promising. Epilepsy is a big problem between 2 and 3 million people in the U.S. suffer from seizures and about 40 percent don't respond to medication. So, Greg and Sherman, this treatment can really help a lot of patients. you got to love Keegan's sense of humor. Mommy and Daddy have a new child. How many yeah, other kids adorable. have been helped by this as well? Uh, there's a lot of, well, actually, at, at Texas Children's, they've done this on about five kids, and it's been very successful. None of them have had wow. seizures. They've been seizure-free. So they're hoping that this is going to help a lot more people, and they just started doing this last year. So the treatment's available now. If people qualify, they can go for this. Wonderful wow. news. Yeah. Thanks, Lee. All right, thanks.